Good afternoon, everybody. How we doing today? Look at that, we got 23 th 24 thumbs up and 20 people watching. How about that? Freaking awesome. Second. We'll be ready to go in just a few minutes. Who we got? Texas Lady, Cal Tim, Barry, Grand Dog, uh, Auto Jim, Prairie Nomad, Ham, Ghost of Now, Tin Killer, Anna, Darcel, Toto, Cowboy Car Crushing, Eric, Rick, Jay, Colorado Springs. How we all doing today? Roger, how you doing? Robert, how you doing? Argentino, always follow. Right on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do appreciate that. So I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but my mid-commercial rolls hadn't been running for the last few days i don't know exactly why i don't know if uh i don't know why youtube cut my mid-commercial rolls out but they did so oh well no biggie no biggie Just for a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, if you've not got that thumbs up button yet, smash it, mash it, punch it, kick it, lick it, we don't care how you do it, stop smurfing on it. Don't be a part of the Salty Crew. Now we have uh, swapped our trailer out. Our load was not due till 8 p.m. tonight. It was not 8 a.m. It was 8 p.m. I got up at uh, 8 a.m. or 6 8 5:30 this morning. Dang it! I did take me a little bit of a nap because I knew that it was going to be a after. After about an hour or two, I knew that
City Life. How you doing? Welcome to the Ride Along Gang. We are fixing to leave out of Dallas. We're on our way to Monroe, Georgia. Now my phone is already blazing hot. So I am going to have to turn this fan up just a little bit while we're uh, doing this city driving. But, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, all aboard, let's put some fire under these tires. Okay. Colette, how you doing? Now, well, I did watch some live streams this morning, um, you know, and until I realized, hey, you need to catch some Z's. But I went over and I watched uh, some of Lance's live stream, um, popped into Freight Relocators, I popped into Scotty D's. Uh, speaking of Scotty D, uh, I think it was I said to tell you, hi, Tasha. Ice from Scotty D's channel. It's one of Scotty D's moderators. Okay, what? Tell you how. Oh, hello. Well, they're not. I don't reckon they're here. They're, they're on Scotty's channel, but. And now, I was watching Lance's channel this morning, and. Uh, his channel's not the same. It, it is the same, but it's not the same as it used to be. The whole the whole train spotting part of it was something that he wasn't really interested in, so it's not something that he's incorporating to his new channel. Oh man, where'd everybody go? All right. Yeah, y'all will just have to stop. Dang, where'd all this traffic come from? They come out of nowhere. <coughs> come on, people. <coughs> hey, Bob Taylor, you might as well stop. Move, car. Jeez, what's wrong with you people? <laughs> now this right here is on the right hand side is where we was to deliver to. Um, the person that we're doing the swap with, they made it here about an hour ago. And um, so we ended up not having to wait for the appointment. Well, we've been waiting all day. But... Oh yeah, what I was saying was, uh, so Lance's channel is, it's kind of the same, but it's, a, it's minus the train action. But I found it pretty interesting this morning. I liked it. For sure. Lee, how you doing? Amber, how you doing? Tasha is awake. That whole little thing of ice, I can fit in the heater because both of them are all melting mostly. 
<laughs> Bless it. Hot? Yeah, it's been it's been hot today. Pete, how you doing? Monroe, Georgia says that we can go home or well I'm dropping Tasha out. I'm gonna stay one or two days, it won't be many. And here we go with the buffalo. He was trying to eat the boom, how about it? Boom! You guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, are freaking awesome. Thank you so much for the first 100 thumbs up right here at your Ride Along Gang. I really do appreciate it. Snatch some salt from the salty crew. Butter up that popcorn. Enjoy the rest of the ride. Now we do love the misfits around here. How much do we love the misfits? Freaking bunches. 113 minutes. Y'all are freaking awesome. Even in 32 miles, how long will that take us to get there? 12 hours. I know, but how days? Two. Two days. I'm gonna walk, I walk, I walk in the line. Sorry about that, Frito Lay. Way trendy. How you doing? Welcome to the Ride Along Gang, I think. I don't think I've ever seen that name before. If I have, welcome back. But if I have, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, I don't have no idea how... Ideal. I don't have no idea how far we'll make it today. That's one reason why Destination's not in the title. Because I just have no idea. We'll figure it out when we get there, though. Pineapples and watermelons. Now, if you cast your eyes straight ahead, ladies and gentlemen, we are pretty much getting ready to, uh, looks like, well, we're going to be facing downtown Dallas anyway. Too bad it's not dark. I mean, I'm glad it's not dark, but... Look at that Dallas. City of Dallas, Texas. Too bad we don't know exactly where Cowboy Car Crushing works at. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy! <laughs> Look at that, Cowboy's in here. Park on your street. Yeah, now I, know, I know that one video that I was watching. It was a pretty good sized street there. I was telling everybody last night, or uh, Cowboy, as far as cities goes, as far as the looks, when you're passing through of a nighttime, I think Dallas is probably the prettiest state in America. As far as, you know, how it's lit up, the skyline, how it's lit up and everything. Did I say the prettiest city? Yeah, something like that. I'm in the freaking bicycle line. <laughs> that happened. Freaking. Oh. Did I say freaking or did I say 
Did I say the bad word? I think you said bad word. I don't know. You might have said freaking. I don't know. Cleveland, Ohio? I don't know about that. I seventy five or 175 belt line. I don't know where that's at. <laughs> Oh yeah, I do. Yes, I do. You live right over there next to Six Flags. Pedal faster. <laughs> Better pedal faster. I'm coming. I can't believe you was in the bicycle. I can't either. I thought it was a turning lane. You need to make fun of yourself in a short <laughs> Gary, if you'll clip that out for me, we'll make fun of myself on it. Bonehead <laughs> trucker. <laughs> On head trucker of the week, driving your semi into bicycle lane. <laughs> I got an e-bike on here, can I ride him? <laughs> Man, look at that. Just look, would you look at it? That's all you Man. Good lord, that was, that was a heck of a freaking buffer, y'all. Hammer's doing good. He, he still bonds a little bit. He, her his little toenail or something. But he's okay. I go, I go, I go, I go, I go. <laughs> he's not bonding anything like he was. Dang, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that traffic. Look at that plastic. <laughs> I know, it's neat. And it didn't a lot. It didn't a lot. Yeah. service road to get you through quicker. Damn, oh man. I already got lost once. I don't think you get lost again. I'm still in an exit on my life. Fish alert! Come on, people. We are waiting on tomorrow. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, Field City. We've stopped there. That's where I was actually... I was going, wanting to go to that place last night. 
I think it's fuel seating. Um, just what it in between or just inside of Dallas, just outside of Dallas, maybe. I don't know. We've stopped at one a, a few times, and I think it's fuel city. Got, really get the corn in the cup. Got the, the corn in the cup. Yeah. They are awesome. We've been there like two or three times. First time we went there was with a right. transportation. Are you okay? Uh -oh. Shazam. Yeah, Tasha likes to get uh, the corn in the cup there at that fuel city. And the street tacos. And the street tacos. Pink Panther, how you doing? I went back and watched your uh, live stream replay from yesterday. It's pretty good, I liked it. <laughs> he was talking about Pepsi's and everybody's like, you like Pepsi, not Coke? Come on, people. Who? Cowboy Car Crush. <laughs> you don't know what a Pepsi is? <laughs> now you had me fooled there for a second. <laughs> in no tank, corn in the cup. In no tank. In no tank. In no tank, yeah, 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 yeah. No be tacos. <laughs> <laughs> no be tacos. How many tacos? Yeah, that's where uh, that's where that fuel city's at on us, eighty. <laughs> yeah, but <Bud> like, <laughs> he said, "Come on, people, this is <laughs> this is a family-friendly channel. We're not about to Bud Light, you know." <laughs> I was like, "Dang, had to spill it out." You do have to spill it out for some people. Scuba dude said, "I get to be toxic this time unless you sleep with us." <laughs> <laughs> I'll get up. I'll make Bobby get me up so I'm ready. Randy Ham. We got Ham in here and Randy Ham. Where's Spanky Ham at? Where are we going to meet? Scooby Doo. Over there too. At the Walmart. Um, this time though, Scooby Doo, maybe. It just, well, not if it's daylight, it'll, we'll have to. Me right there at the gas station. Me new toes, minutes. <laughs> minute toes. Hello, Michael. Is Ember still studying her Spanish program that she was doing on the, uh, on that one video that day? Is that his kid? Yeah, it's his little girl, Ember. Who? Ember, with an E oh. instead of an A. Yeah. That's a pretty. Yeah. What are they doing? Build my sons for you? <laughs> Do we go by that fuel city? Uh, I reckon, I don't know. I might have to stop on my things. We are in Dallas. It is it's going to Monroe, Georgia, James. I don't know what the due date is on it or anything. I think it's it's not today. I think it's tomorrow night is what I'm thinking. What? 
that when it's due tomorrow night is what I'm thinking. I don't know, yeah. but that's what I'm thinking. Early. Yeah. Good afternoon, John. How you doing? Now I may go back. I might go back and uh, remake the tire video. Maybe. I'm just thinking about it. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. 98 degrees in Dallas. And if I do, I'm going to put a different song with it. And it's going to be a different part. It's not going to be the same. It's not going to be the whole 30 seconds. It's just going to be like 9 seconds of the clip. <clears throat> I'm just thinking about it, though. I don't know if I'm going to or not. I'm thinking about it. I'm 300 days in a row on learning Spanish. Dang, she should be getting pretty good at it then. <clears throat> I bet that yard work yesterday zapped you out. Yeah. It would have me. Sorry, I was trying to <laughs> look at that and it says Countryman on the back of that car. Oh, yeah. Trying to see what kind of car it is. What is it? Mini Cooper? It's like one of them Coopers, yeah. It's a different looking one though. Used to. Custom. Look at that car. Oh, dude, check it out on the right hand side, y'all. Look at that. What kind of car is that? Can you see what it says on the wheel right there? Nope. I can't either. That is freaking nice though. We got under the bridge where the lights were shining on instead of the sunshine and it looked even better. Possible congestion ahead. You're kidding, right? That's my drive wise telling me. Something that I already know. Nash. Ford, Ford Nash, I think so. I think Nash is Ford. There's the Lorenzo. What is that a hotel? I guess it, it's like a, I don't know if it's a hotel or, yeah, I think it's a hotel. <laughs> Tough flops in San Antonio. Yeah. Jeff, how you doing today? Maybe 49 Mercury. Could possibly be. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that would be good. That's the only thing I don't like about graffiti is not being able... I, some of it I can read, but most of it I can't read it. I just I just judge it by how it looks. <laughs> Covenant, who you think you are over there in that third lane? Houston, that's right, not San Antonio, my bad. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. It's in Houston. The toe flop is everywhere. He is now. Hey, he got us on Google. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, how you doing? Oh, oh man, there it is. The road zipper. <laughs> what is that? Dang it. You never did figure out which video that was on, did you, Gary? It moves the jersey wall like dominoes. Yeah. So this is probably where we seen it at that night was in Dallas.
that would make an awesome short if, if I knew what video to look for. But I have no idea what video that that was on, other than it might have been, we might have been coming through Dallas. Dude, it's bad enough to be texting. You don't need two phones in each hand. He's got a phone in each hand doing this right here. <laughs> oh, you didn't know. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, you don't have to. I was just wondering if, if you knew where it was at or had any idea where it was at. That's because that's a lot of searching to do. Unless, unless you have a good idea where it was at, that's just a lot of searching. Be as big as the billboard. Yeah. Party pizza. Dallas Marshall's office. Get that big old Ferris wheel. See it? That thing is That's huge. Not. says on the first one. Billboard said 64 slices of uh, pepperoni pizza. Just a friendly reminder, ladies and gentlemen, if you've not got that thumbs up button yet, smash it, mash it, punch it, kick it, lick it. We do not care how you do it. Stop smurfing on it. Don't be a part of the salty crew. And if you've not subscribed yet, punch that subscription button in the face, slap that notification bell in the jaw. That way you know when we're here and live, we're uploading every single day. <laughs> there it is. See, it moves the jersey walls, road zipper. And it just moves, it moves them from like over here to over there. That had to have been where we seen it at was Dallas. Well, it didn't, don't have to be, but I'm just about guarantee you that's where it was at. I'll have to look up. I'll have to look through my Dallas runs. That at least gives me an idea of what city to look in, or which live streams to look through. Uh, if I can find it, John, I'm, I'll, I want to upload it. And what I, I'll probably I'll look start looking for it tonight over the next few days. It may take me about a week to find it, but yeah, it just it pushes them from one side of the road to the other. Like if they wanted to uh, open up a lane over here and close that center lane, it just it moves them over is what it does. And it kind of, it's kind of like it, like the name says, it kind of does it like a zipper. Tom, how you doing? Kathy, how you doing? Ma'am. 
Look at that. We got 200 people in here. We could have had 200 thumbs up in 35 minutes. But we got at least 60 salties in here, no doubt. How many, how many salties are there in the Smurf group? 100? <laughs> My bad. I won't do that. I wish I could make out the name on that car. <laughs> Bad about it. Dead Crow, how you doing? Transformer, how you doing? To the left, to the left. <laughs> What's that, buddy? What you doing, buddy? See, I really don't mind driving through traffic like this. A lot of people hates it. I really don't mind it. I don't mind it that much at all. Now, if I'm in a hurry, you know, like say I've got to be 100 miles down the road and I've got 45 minutes to get there, well, you know, then it's kind of aggravating. But how we're just now starting the day out and it's really not going to affect us much just other than a few minutes of the day, it don't bother me. It don't bother me a bit. Slow down and smell the roses. But you can you actually get to slow down and look around. That's the reason why it don't bother me that much because within the cities like this, you know, you get to go a little bit slower and you get to look at everything. Everything. It's not just quick glances. It's more like a stick man's view rather than GoPro's view. Three more, let's do this, let's do this. We got another zipper, what do they call it, zipper one? Man, there's a bunch of them out here. So yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, be, I'm gonna go on to say it's safe to say that it was Dallas that we spotted that one. Boom! You guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, are freaking awesome. Thank you, thank you so much for over 200 thumbs up in just over 30 minutes right here at the Ride Along Gang. Snatch you some salt from the salty crew, butter up that popcorn, enjoy the rest of the day. Now we do love the misfits around here. How much do we love the Misfits? Freaking bunches. Two hundred thumbs up in <laughs> under forty minutes. Under. Get up here. Come on, buddy. I love it when a plan comes together. I love it when a plan comes together. Get up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Get up here. Oh. Quit acting, quit acting all weird like. Open that thing up, man. 87 miles an hour is what he got up to. Tell me how you do it. Keep holding my arms out weird and whatnot. I don't know what you did. Yeah, I'm not waiting on you.
Waka waka Fuel City and uh, get Tasha some corn in a cup. I think this is it. Come in from this direction, that's tight. Mule Fuel City, not Mule City. Fuel. Fuel City. I was gonna go, but then they all appeared out of nowhere. I should have went. I should have just did it.
the only thing about this weird restaurant here is you have to order if you want the corn in a cup or if you want tacos if you want them both you have to order them from two different counters they don't let you order them from the same counter and I'm pretty sure you gotta have cash so you might want to grab a little bit of cash out of here I don't think they take cards if I'm not mistaken if I'm not mistaken I don't think they take cards City of Mesquite established 1887. getting out ladies and gentlemen I have to mute you guys. I don't know if they've got music playing real loud in here or not. If they do, I'm going to have to mute it. But I figured I'd bring this inside let you see what it looks like. They do have a little bit of music playing, but look, it's Rudy. <laughs> it's Rudy's cousin. Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. And we got buffalo. Just corn cup. Yeah. <coughs> and we got buffalo. And we got longhorns. Check that one out. This one's this one's got goofy horns, y'all. Look at it. I'm glad arbor horns don't look like that. <laughs> and then we've got these guys over here. We do have music playing, so I've got to actually keep on a yakking. We got Little Caesars. Sub shop. Fountain drinks. I wonder if they got her ice. I don't think they do. Don't look like it. Nope. They do not have her eyes. But dang, check all this out. This is 
It's a nice uh, little spot. Now see, they got two different registers. And I don't know if they, if you have to order from separate registers now or not, but used to, if you wanted corn in a cup, and then if you wanted tacos. So, but it is cash only. I don't got your eyes? No. See, no, no. <laughs> she's she's throwing stop stealing tips Tasha <laughs> did we catch that on camera I gotta go to the bathroom okay Tasha was taking tips out of that one and putting it in that one that's what I'm saying they, they got two different cash registers here you have to order them separate the tip jars are separate I'm looking to see if they've got man look at that look at that y'all that is pretty dang nice all right i'm gonna put you in the back on mute for a minute It's one of the only places that I know of that's like cash only. They won't let you, you know. Dang, look at the size of that thing. Yeah. That bear is freaking huge over there too. You coming over this way, cowboy? Is Cowboy saying he's on his way over here? Well, thank you, Nancy. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. Do appreciate it. Oh, dang. Check this out. They've got a freaking wild boar over here, too. I didn't even notice that uh, before. Check out that wild boar. And then over here, they've got... A freaking lion. Check this lion out. Look at that thing. Man, oh man, oh man. Tasha, I still... <laughs> I like the way his horns are. Look at them horns, y'all. Is that ingrown? Is that an ingrown longhorn? <laughs> Just posted two pictures of the zipper machine. TM4 on that. I'm gonna put you guys back on mute. Well, here, here comes Tasha. Tasha is here. <laughs> what you doing? What is that? Is that like a V8? Is it alcoholic? I wonder. Oh, and there's a paddle board, y'all. Let's see. What, let's see what the price is, right quick. 
They don't have a price tag. Maybe it's a winning thing. I don't know. Little Caesars. Rudy, we'll be back for you later. <laughs> There's the big old bear. And then they've got longhorns out front too, the statues. They've got this little thing. And they've got the car wash over here. That's Fuel City Car Wash. We are at Fuel City in Mesquite, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, you this have is the leaky one. Let me have that. <laughs> Give me that knife. Sorry. Corn in a cup. It is awesome, usually. Look at it. I can do this. Look at it. <laughs> Corn in a cup. Now it is pretty good, but it is spicy. If you don't like spicy, you're not gonna like this stuff because the red that you see in it is cayenne pepper. Mm, that's good. Mix it up. I think the one in California was better, but this. Yeah, the one in California was a lot different. This is good though. On a scale from 1 to 10, for corn, my bad, for corn, I'm giving it a, I'm, 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 I'm giving it a definite 9.1. It is good. Do y'all want to see my tacos? Tasha got tacos too. I didn't get tacos. All I wanted was just the corn in the cup. That's it. That's Tasha's street tacos. Chicken? Mm -hmm. Chicken. You try <laughs> one? Try that? Is that hot, hot sauce? I don't know. I tried on the hottest they got. She got the hottest that they got sauce. So I'm just going to try one without sauce on it. See how it tastes. Oh man, that smells hot. It smells like an armpit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give that that taco 9.2 on the taste factor. That was good. That was a good freaking bite. I got you one. Yeah, I'm going to give that taco a 9.2. We're hauling onions, Larry. Anytime we're headed east in the summertime, we're taking onions east. 
So yeah, I didn't put where we're headed, so not bad. Corn and cheese and butter and cayenne pepper. I do know that. It's good, RLT. It's good. It's fixed like that. It's, it's real good. But like I say, it's just a little bit spicy. I think they put a touch of mayonnaise in it, too. Mayonnaise. I believe that guy, it's got mayonnaise in it. This one may or may not. I don't know. The one in California did. Yeah, the one in California, though, I know they, they did. And there's a difference in the taste, too, in between these and the ones that we got in California. There is a difference in the taste. Not a lot, not a great deal, but there is a difference. Okay, sour cream and mayo. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> That's the reason why I was saying to look it up because I couldn't remember. Watch out, Heber. I couldn't remember what I was mixed with, so that's the reason why I was saying look it up. It says that I didn't tell you wrong. That's just what I was thinking. Yeah, better than Taco Bell for sure. Now we're going to parallel park here right quick. Um, I'm going to take Hammer out for a quick walk and we'll be back on our way. Bottom of it is hot, 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 spicy, hot, and temperature hot. <laughs> Gene, how you doing? All right, I'm gonna take this dog out right quick, and then we'll be on our way. So Nick, hurry up, paper, not pepper.
water up here, babe. Or wait, never mind. Back up. Move. doing better. I think that's I think that's what he done. I think he uh I think he caught his toenail on the on the pillow or laundry bag or something and uh Just pulled his toenail. All aboard. <laughs> also has mayonnaise in it, yeah. Hey, this stuff's good. It is. Yeah, all mayos do taste different. That might be the difference in the California blend. And this one. Steak's alive. It's hot out there. Our truck's reading 104. Lawrence, how you doing? <coughs> taste different. Some's a lot better than others. I guess it just depends on how you like it. If you like it real tangy, in my opinion, Dukes has got a tangy taste. Mr. Cooper Bradley. Uh oh. And then Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina was calling me. I don't know who that is. Jersey getting whacked with big storms. Canes, I don't know, I've not, it's been a long time since I've had any Canes mayo. Canes mayo might be uh, <laughs> regional. Bama mayo, I bet Bama mayo's regional. <laughs>
Hellman's is it's okay. I like, I like Hellman's a little bit. I like Dukes a little bit. I like Kraft really about the best. Kraft mayo. Yeah. Now there's another one that I that I do like. I'm trying to think what the Heinz. Heinz, they've got a pretty decent mayo, but man, don't eat a big blob of it. Wow. I'm used I was always used to just getting it out of the little packets at the store. And I got a big old blob of it, you know, I bought a jug of it, got a big old blob of it out and put it on my sand, and I was like, dang. That was very, very different. Now that was actually the truck stop that I wanted to stop at last night, but I knew there wasn't gonna be any parking at that truck stop last night when we come through. So that's the reason why I went to the south side of Dallas instead of coming right up in here. Because it probably would have been a little bit closer. Well, I guess it would have been a little bit closer, but <clears throat> that was actually the one that I would have liked to have stopped at. That's the first time I've ever seen empty parking spots at that truck stop. Day or night. That's today today's the first time I've ever seen empty spots there. Tink out, how you doing? And just a friendly reminder, ladies and gentlemen, if you've not got that thumbs up button yet, smash it, mash it, punch it, kick it, lick it. We don't care how you do it, stop smurfing on it. I, I hadn't heard anything today. The weather service said, I, I didn't see before that. Get me a golf club and some golf balls. So you and Nick play on top of that yeah. trailer? Me and Nick can jive in balls off the top of the trailer. If you ever do meet Nick in person, he has to get on top of the trailer. <laughs> he has to. <laughs> Did you hear that, Nick? <laughs> Tasha said, if I ever do meet you, you have to climb up on top of the trailer to get a picture. <laughs> <laughs> it just seem wrong if you don't. <laughs> hey, Wood. Rev, how you doing? Jeremiah, how you doing? Maybe, maybe by that time, though, Nick, I'll have a ladder. That way, it's a little bit easier to climb up on. <laughs> maybe I'll be with you when you get. To, if you ever we get to go to Maine and we get close to him and we get to meet him, well, I'll get up on the truck and take a picture. Heck yeah. We could use the it that. <laughs> <Be> cool. <laughs> Every time it storms in Copper Hill, if it comes a good storm, sometimes even if it don't come a good, if it's the thunder's loud enough, the power always goes out. At the house. <laughs> the th always. The thunder's loud enough to knock the power out. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be raining, it's thunder is really good and the power in the well. Yeah. I like Dukes. I don't care for Miracle Whip too much. Some people like it. Dukes. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip's not really mayo though, is it? Or is it? Or is it? Yeah, have her, he's, he's all right. He's he's better now than he was yesterday. Get up here, bud. Come on. Get up here. He's just being a little bit weird, like he always does. He's always weird, though. Different. No. 
Help! <laughs> ah, he's on my shoulders again, riding shotgun. He's got his little elbows dug right into my shoulders. Um, that's not good, Tingal. I would be, I would be pissed, to say the least. Just to say the least. What color car do you have? If it was white, that would suck. It sucks anyways, I'm sure. But... What happened? She said somebody dropped a bucket of red paint on the road and I drove through it and now I have red paint all over the side of my car. Oh. to Sunnyvale, Texas. Just exited the skeet in the Sunnyvale. Sorry, Tim Gow. Look, they're up there in the, they're in their little buckets. Working oh, they're, they're working. They're actually working. There's five of them in two buckets. According to the truck, we got 102 out here. In Sunnyvale at 5.13 in the p.m. We're gonna have us a few hours of daylight driving and then a few hours of nighttime driving. Like I say, I don't, I don't have the info on it yet, or I might have it by now. Um, but I can't check it because Haver's on my shoulder. 97 degrees. 97 according to Tasha's phone. 102 according to the truck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, view inside the fuel mart there, and hopefully the the music that was playing wasn't loud enough to affect anything. Hopefully, Catherine, how you doing today? One oh eight in the desert. buddy how you doing that bird just crapped on that van <laughs> I seen it drop rock and roll it's very cool. what's the plan for what the drive today we're gonna get as far as we can I try not to plan much anything. My only plans is making it on time, that's it. So what we'll so what we'll probably try to do we'll we we'll, we want to run at least 220 miles at least 220 that way all we've got tomorrow is 500 miles which means that we'll be able to get there tomorrow so we want to at least to drive 220 today At least the sun is behind, yeah, and that is good on the phone.
They've got a little apparatus that they've been selling at the truck stops that I may buy for the phone. It's not for the phone, it's actually for a person. But it goes around your neck and it's like a little air cooler. I may get it and put it around the phone for summertime. As I asked the guy, that was the guy that was actually working at Love's, he had one on. And I was like, how's that thing work? He, he said, well, he said, inside it, it works. It's, he said, it's, it's fine. He said, it does all right. He said, outside, he said, not so good. He said, it really don't, don't do much at all on the out, when you're outside. He said, but if you're inside, he does, it does real good or does fine. <laughs> Stick, Stickman does a pretty good job at staying in the shade though. And he sits right right at the uh, the one vent. So he does a pretty good job at staying cool. Where are we going? We are going to Monroe, Georgia. Two hundred twenty-seven people. Just a friendly reminder: if you've not got that thumbs up button yet, smash it, mash it, punch it, kick it, lick it. We do not care how you do it. Stop smurfing on it. Don't be a part of the salty crew, ladies and gentlemen. Save that salt for your popcorn. How about it? <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet, punch that subscription button in the face, slap that notification bell in the jaw. That way you know when we're here, live or uploading every single day. If you don't want to subscribe, well, that's just fine. But hit that thumbs up button, how about it? What are we hauling? Onions. We're headed east, we're hauling onions. Yep, got a Cessna over there flying around. I'm glad she finally got there when she did. I was hoping she'd get there earlier, but I was hoping she'd got there at least 11 o'clock. Didn't work out that way though. She didn't get there till I think it was two, almost right at three o'clock maybe. <laughs> then we could have got out of there a little bit sooner, but I had to go up there and give them the info for the for calling her. Bobby's old truck. Oh, really? Yeah. holding up the billboard. My mom hasn't texted me back since I told her it was Monday, not Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> She's just pulling her hair out probably. Oh my God, oh my God. Watched a video which made a tour, the, tr the truck tour video. Appreciate you watching, appreciate it. Whenever they decide to give us a new truck, we'll do another uh, truck tour video. Show you guys what it looks like while I don't have anything in it before I, you know, move everything over to it. Which the only difference between the new trucks and my truck is that they've got digital dashboards and then they've got the, uh, their seats, like where mine's gray behind me, black and, or dark gray and light gray. 
I think, if I'm not mistaken, the seats actually match the colors of the truck. I think. So the light gray is actually, like on, in this truck would be red. <coughs> but as far as like the bunks and the fridges and all that go, microwave, all that's the same. But we'll do a truck tour anyway. People like them things. What? The, the truck tours. Get a new truck? Whenever we get our new truck. Uh, that blue car is Camaro, yeah. Well, I wish they, they, the whole fleet's Freightliners. They make the whole, whatever, whatever they decide to run for the fleet is the entire fleet. Like, they had the Peterbilts, the 379 Peterbilts. At one point, they had the the Kenworth W900s. At one point, oh, they, they had internet internationals. At one point, oh. and um, then the Freightliners. So I don't know, you know, whenever they do decide to change trucks, I don't know if they'll swap over to Volvos or maybe back to Kenworths. I don't, I don't know. The only ones that's got different trucks is like the the owners of the companies. Um, they they've got they still got the long nose Peterbilts. Doing pretty good, day, Tristan. How you doing? Volvo and Peterbilt's. Been the international only because with truck away. Yeah, and the international, that's right. That international would freaking move too. I don't know what the governor was set on on it. I didn't I didn't max it out, but I got it up there to about eighty something miles now, eighty or ninety. He had his little toenail, he cracked it somehow. Got it hung on something and ended up cracking it in the bed. But I'll just go with, I'll go so far as to tell you guys this. Driving a truck fast, I know a lot of you is like, oh, that's scary. And with a trailer loaded, it's not real scary. You get a, a bobtail without the trailer, without a load, and get it up to speed like that, and that, that does get a little scary because they feel top heavy, you know, without their trailers. They feel like they'll tip over a little bit easier. So that is a little bit scary like that. about 13 miles to Interstate 20 maybe. Hopefully it's not like this throughout the whole trip. Or I mean the whole 13 miles. Yeah that well, this one, this international, it was when I was doing truck away. I was moving trucks for companies. Um, it, and it was actually, it come from Crete. And they had, they had released the governor on it. Um, I wasn't really expecting that, but they had released the governor on it. and uh, it, Which it might have been uh, owner operators. Maybe it didn't have a governor on it to begin with. I don't know. But yeah, it would, it would scoot. We are headed to the house. I'm gonna drop Tasha out, and I may get to spend one day or two days. I'm not real sure yet. And then right back out at it again. Pace, Pace car come out with a new truck engine. They need something besides what they got. 
some engines that they got it's just pure nasty 10 more to 300 let's do this ladies and gentlemen we're one and a half hours in let's hit 300 how about it let's do it let's do it let's do it Eighty-two and not raining at the house. Yes, it is. Eighty-two and not raining. He likes to rain on that mountain too much. Yeah. Lone stars. Yeah. Hang on just a second, I got hammer on my shoulders. Abby, you have to go over here with mama. Mm. Boom! You guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, are freaking awesome! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much for over 300 thumbs up right here at the Ride Along Gang. I really do appreciate it. Snatch some salt from the salty crew, butter up that popcorn, enjoy the rest of the ride. Now we do love the Misfits around here. How much do we love the Misfits? Freaking bunches. Hammer's not happy with you guys, but... <laughs> He was comfortable up around my shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. That is pretty dang good. 102 minutes, 300 likes. That's pretty dang good. That's the best we've done since wintertime, I think. Y'all are awesome. Awesome. Y'all are awesome bunch, man. Don't let anybody tell you no different. And just cause we're labeled the misfits, hey, that's that's awesome in itself. I bet they is. Mud cats. Texas bass. I wonder if there's any snakeheads out in this right now. Snakeheads are just in the Virginia area, ain't they? Florida. Yeah. <laughs> He's over it already. What's that pipe for? I probably sucked the water out of that little creek or put it into it. Hammer's being salty for sure. Well, 200 miles might be about all we can get out of today's trip if we don't hurry up and get off this uh, Highway 80. I don't know why I didn't get over just then. I should have. Yeah. <laughs> right as you put it up there, I said it. Carol Ann, how you doing? Houston Dave, how you doing? Let me look and see if they give me the, they might have given me the load info by now. Okay, it's due on the 28th at, at 2.30. 
215. AM or PM? AM. So we'll make it home to the 29th. 29th. But right there it says 115. So it's due on the 28th at 1 or 2.15 in the morning. And we can leave after the club and go home. Yeah, we will about to. We will? Yeah. on what time we get there as to what time we'll be able to leave. If we get there at 10, we won't be able to leave till about 8. What's up, buddy? vacation and then and, and what was the other one? National that's it. National Lampoon's vacation. <laughs> Joe Newell said there are a handful of gummy bears straight up in the air. Rogue says thanks Tasha. Hopefully they're not the C B D gummy bears. You better not let your dog eat them. <laughs> Willie W, how you doing? According to the truck, we got 101 degrees out here in Forney, Texas. Now, it's not quite that hot. I, I think the truck does the real feel. Oh my goodness, that dog. <laughs> the 
Crown Vic wagon? Yeah. It's probably actually about 98. Justin Beck from the UK, how you doing? Welcome to the Ride Along Gang. Or welcome back, not sure which. Seems like I have seen your name in here a time or two before, but Hammer! not many. What is wrong with you? <laughs> waka, 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 waka. That dude would have a field day if he got behind my truck. Oh yeah. Good Lord Hammer. We are headed to Monroe, Georgia. Are you I can't do nothing. I'm buckled in. I can't get up. I'd throw you up here if I could, but I can't. Blessing. Get up here. Get in my lap. Come on. Get up here. Let's get up here. Do it. <laughs> There's some cows. Get them, Hammer. He's like, oh my God, they are cows, for real. <laughs> you are welcome. You gonna bust the speaker? Hey, watch it now. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> He's like, oh no. Come here. <laughs> you okay? Oh, right in the mouth. Got his claws dug in my head, <laughs> licking my ears. Uh, uh. What's that, buddy? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> what you looking at? <laughs> beautiful day out here. Beautiful day in Forney, Texas. Or nope, we're in Terrell, Texas now. Beautiful day for a drive. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did, didn't I? That clown ain't up. It looks like somebody threw a baseball on it. It does. It looks just like it got hit with a baseball. right now it's her bedtime what you doing you're gonna be excited oh it. where are we it's going too early. Too early. <laughs> he's like what wait a minute what are you talking about you know. huh did you say no you freak out freak out it's a secret Is a snoozing, no doubt about it. Hey, that's my eyeball. He bit me right on the eyebrow. <laughs> Go give mama a kiss. Do it. Go give mama a kiss. He's growling.
Interstate 20, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting on Interstate 20 right now. Beautiful day for a drive. Beautiful day for a drive. that we stopped at last night coming in. When I woke up this morning, there was a truck, actually two trucks. Uh, one of them was broke down right in front of me. And I was like, dang it. So I went inside to use the bathroom and um, look to see if they had Tasha's ice, which they did. So I come back out and got her cups, both of her cups, and took them back in and filled them up. And by the time I was done filling the ice up, the trucks was gone. So I don't know what had actually happened with them. I don't really, I don't know how long they, that, 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 that it had even sat there. But luckily, it didn't cause me to be late, which it wouldn't have caused me to be late anyway because my appointment wasn't until 8 p.m. tonight. I really, really, I hate when they do that. Um, tell me that I've got an 8 a.m. delivery and it's actually an 8 p.m. delivery or vice versa. 
324. Thank you, thank you. How you doing? I've got my air conditioner blared. been Laredo. It is not a drive-wise sign, so open or closed, open or closed, no bypass, unless it's away in motion. You're not getting to take me to work. Yeah.
commercial vehicles and buses stop ahead when flashing. It is not flashing, so it is closed. I thought those was caskets that he yeah, had on there. I said, okay, see you <laughs> I thought those was caskets. Those? Yeah. From way back. Tasha's job is waiting for her at home on the 1st at what time? 3. 3 p.m. So that should be enough to do us for for our trip today and uh since it's not due till 1 a.m on the 28th we probably will just do about 200 miles today and the other 500 tomorrow Give or take. And I know I've been doing uploads every three days, but I'm gonna wait on this upload. I'm not I'm not gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna wait till the next day to do it. That way we get an upload on an off day. I don't know what it's gonna be yet driving more than likely i don't think i have any more cooking videos up so it'll definitely be a driving but i don't know if it'll be a short drive or a long drive meaning i don't know if it'll be you know five or six minutes or 12 or 15 minutes but it'll be one or the other and that's definite may do the uh I'll just have to watch and see. Lake Tawakani. Lake Tawakani. Tawakani. Tawakani.
did scare me. <laughs> now I did look at the Starlink this morning while I was sitting there waiting. $2,500 for the mobile dish, the mobile receiver. $250 a month for 50 gigabytes, which is not much. 50 gigabytes is what I have on my jetpack. Um, one terabyte is a thousand dollars a month five terabytes is five thousand dollars a month for a starlink if you want five terabytes and in order to run a daily live stream the way we do it with as much as we do we would have to have that five thousand terabyte i don't think i don't think even a thousand would be enough it might possibly be but i don't think it would so that's that's expensive that's that's expensive and that's that's way too expensive to be paying for uh doing the daily live streams on youtube yeah only only 50 gigabytes that that's a rip off for 250 dollars that's 250 dollars for 50 yeah well I mean, it's costing the crap out of him to put it up there, but yeah. still. He got the money, though. Let's see how much he's worth. Elon Musk net worth. And now, see. Elon Musk net worth. $234.3 billion. Dang it. And he's about to get richer off that Starlink. I mean, big time. Um, but see, the thing is, is I was wanting to get it back back before. It used to be Jeff Bezos at number one, but Elon Musk is number one right now. Yeah. And I wanted to get it because of the uh, the price, and I didn't want to. I wanted to get grandfathered in, but he was smart enough to start that up and do a pay as you go instead of monthly contracts or yearly contracts. So they don't. There's no grandfather into it. Anytime he decides to change the rates, there's no grandfather into it. You don't have to do the grandfather clause on a pay as you go, as far as I know. But yeah, I think in order to to live stream the way we do, eight to ten hours every single day for a month, I think we would have to have five thousand terabyte might be able to do it on 1,000 but I think it would be 5,000 or five 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 terabytes which is five thousand dollars a month stretch doodle bug my bad five terabytes which is five thousand a month Those prices are set up for business, is what that's set up for. One thousand for a terabyte, five thousand for five terabytes, two hundred and fifty dollars for fifty gigabytes, which you absolutely could not. I mean, that's the. 50 gigabytes is nothing when it comes to uploading. If all you're doing is sitting watching TV, uh, you know, not uploading or anything like that, 50, uh, 50 gigabytes would be okay. But if you want to do any kind of uploading, then you're going to need more than 50 gigabytes. Plain and simple.
Yeah, we've stopped there now. $40,000 a month for a terabyte, but I'm not, there, there's no way I'm going to fork out that kind of money. Not knowing that it wouldn't be perfect, you know. A $5,000 a month? Eh, maybe not so much. <laughs> but a $1,000 a month, I could afford that but I'm not going to afford it. Not I'm just not going to pay that kind of money for for the internet. He was must have been sleeping. He didn't want to jump on the bed. <laughs> he was so tired he couldn't even jump up on the bed. Dishes so here. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I mean, when it comes to uploading, it don't take long to go through that. It just don't. There's cars there. Everybody's on the ground.
parece? Very similar to me. Two teenagers struck by a train in Helena. Is that Alabama? Yeah. Dang. Bless his little heart. Plays are large and the bargains are good. <laughs> I got it. Which, what? Okay, there's the loves coming up. We'll stop at the loves because I don't know if the pilot has it or not. Clean green all the way to the Louisiana state line. I'm making trucking. Hey, you doing? Welcome to the Ride Along Gang. Fleas or scorpions take your pick. <laughs> I think I might rather have a flea as a scorpion. I don't know though. It was good at collect. Yeah, it was. It was real good. That stuff always burns my tongue though. By the time I get the bottom of it is a lot hotter than the top of it is. And then that cayenne pepper on there. Um, by the time I get to the bottom of it, it's scorching my tongue temperature-wise and spice-wise. Thanks, how you doing? Florida Profit Hunter, how you doing? Got a, it, it's got cayenne pepper in it. So yeah, it's, it's a little, it's not real spicy. Now that that we got out in California was more spicy than what we get here. They put a little bit more pepper in it, but uh, yeah, it's spicy, spicy corn. Shalom, how you doing, Jewish redneck preba?
always as safe as possible. Hope you find some gold out there somewhere. Freaking drone! I was like, "Oh my God, there's another one." <laughs> was it that big? It was. Seen? It wasn't quite that big, but it was pretty dang close. It's a cooler. That cooler had pops on it. That's weird. Okay, I had a hole cut in the top of it, and there's snorkel things. Coming soon, a pilot. Look at that. It's an Exxon pilot. It's gonna have a windows. Two miles out of Dallas. It only took us an hour and 15 minutes to get 72 miles out of Dallas. Not too bad for all that traffic we was in. Little Rock, Arkansas. 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 Sarge, how you doing? That was back at the hard COVID days.
gonna go in and get it? Yes. I'm gonna clean the windshield while you're doing it. You want to know what that big yellow thing is to the right hand side buddy Reed? I don't have to ask I know what that is that is a rolling dock we have a video up of a rolling dock um, maybe we can get one of the regulators to share that video link um, check out the rolling dock in action have it right on yeah it's a rolling dock portable
that looks like the kind that they use at train yards. Now, I'm, I'm not going to say that it definitely is, but it kind of looks like the ones that they use at the train yards. Yeah, it's that one's a heavy duty one, so it's it's going to be used at bigger places rather than just like where we unload. That right there, thank you, Colorado Springs. That is a link to um, one of our unloads that had a rolling dock at it, which was much smaller than that one. It was not near the size of that one. But it that video shows you shows the the transporting of the dock from one spot to the next and hooking it up to the trailer. So if you've never seen a rolling dock in action, then that video is definitely a good one to check out. It is one of my older videos, but definitely a, a good video to check out if you've never seen a rolling dock in action. It's an, it's an older video, Texas lady. I put it up maybe, well, it's, it's been a while. Now, I mean, the video wasn't centered around the rolling dock, but it definitely shows the entire process of setting that rolling dock up. So it's a good video for that. months but I actually that's the that's the upload date but I actually recorded that video probably five months prior to that so the video the video itself is actually a year year and a half old but it's only been viewable for the last five months Ha, ha, ha. 
that bird, <laughs> that butterfly had a hard head. I said bird. The plan we coming up in two miles. Open or close, or close, no bypass. It did, it, it, but it almost sounded like a bird. It might have been a baby bird. Because it hit hard, it hit harder than a butterfly would. It is not flashing, so it is closed. Pop. 
appreciate you stopping in and hanging out, and we'll catch you next time around. Now that Starlink that I was talking about, that's that was for the in motion use Starlink. I don't know what the price uh, for the where you just set it up in a parked location. I don't know what the price is on that. I didn't look at that at all. All I looked at, all I looked at was the uh, the in motion use. Which I imagine though it's probably not still $130 unlimited. It might be. I mean, it might be. I don't know. I'll have to go back and not in motion use. just use it parked so so the park starlink is still the same well it went up 20 bucks it's 150 a month but you can't use it while you're driving you can only use it while you're sitting still it's 130 for unlimited or 150 for unlimited but now if you want that if you want that mobile Starlink, you're gonna pay for that. Nah, you gotta you gotta put in the thing to to order it. To get it to just put in your address to order it. Artero, how are you doing? Get the truck wash TF4 on that. I well, appreciate you watching it. Number 185, heck yeah.
been done cooking an awesome meal for duty to you for. Always good to have home time. Especially when you've been out for two or three or four weeks. Or three or four or five weeks, something like that. It's going every week and it's just, well, it's quick in, quick out. But. Do we got pixels? Again, new antenna and cable right on. Uh, when you when you reinstall it, Ernie, don't put that last. Let's see, what do you got? One, two. Don't put that third, the third adapter on it. Um, I don't have the third adapter on mine. My third adapter broke as well. Just luckily, mine didn't fall off the truck, but it did break. So don't put that third adapter on there. I've got two on mine right now. And that third one, you know, I don't think you need it. So uh, when you reinstall it, leave that third after adapter off of it. Or at least I would. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how I'm running mine right now. It's just off two of them, not three of them. I wish I'd have thought and told you that when we was met up in Texas that night, but I didn't think anything. Of, actually, I'd forgot about mine breaking. But it, mine broke within the first couple of weeks of having it. I don't know. I'd leave that spring on there. You only got one? Huh. Okay. Well, it may, might be better to leave the spring off of it if it's just one. You don't. I don't think you need the. I don't think you need the spring on there if it's just the one adapter. Maybe. He wants to whine and cry to get back in bed. He's not happy if he's not whining and crying. See you later, Ernie. All right, Ernie, take it easy and we'll catch you next time around. What do you want? Get up here. Come on. to go to 300 just a friendly reminder ladies and gentlemen if you've not got that thumbs up button yet smash it mash it punch it kick it lick it we don't care how you do it stop smurfing on it i need to go to 400 let's do this let's do it let's do it let's do it Three 
24, man. Come on, how you doing? Give me 45 seconds worth of buffering to clear up these pixels starting now. Hopefully they've cleared them all up for you guys. Do we love the Misfits? Sanchez. <laughs> she said, Woo! I see it pop. She was fixing the back as well. That's. Excited I'm coming back to work. Yeah. She's wanting to come back sooner. <laughs> Getting ready to run under a double stack up. Double stack running my train. Oh my lord. And of course, we'd be buffer low. Buffer low. That train was underneath. It was underneath us. I think we was in Pennsylvania or Maryland. They're not gonna make it by, man. It's not gonna happen. They ain't even by. You mean? No, I'm not mean. I've just drove enough to know what that does.
I mean, it's not a pallet no more. It's a one man now. It's got Sonic. All right, we stopped there. Yeah, we used to stop there when it was pallet, which is still pallet fuel, but one man network. Most of the time. <laughs> Speedy guns, I was. Yep, wait. Speedy guns, I and slow poke. Hurry up, under. Yep. Speedy guns, I and slow poke, Rodriguez. Have hurry up under Speedy Gonzales and wait under Slowpoke Rodriguez. Slowpoke Rodriguez. Speedy's cousin. Mm -hmm. We
doing? Ooh, ah. It's a dang Sasquatch over there. little puppy. Lady on local news today gave, what, my state a glowing? Blowing report to visit. Yeah, Tennessee's a good state. Maine knows a beautiful state as well. Vermont. Love St. New York.
Yeah. Yeah, that's what I always, there's something about every state that I like, and there's something about most every state that I don't like. According to the GPS, welcome to Kilgore, Texas. Rob, how you doing today? We are headed east. Monroe, Georgia. kind of buffery though.
Get, we'll get there tomorrow night, but it'll be the morning of the 28th if we do if we do a meetup. Start our day till the time we end. That was it. one that told me. I told him to go check on her and see what's going on. Five seconds worth of buffering to clear up these pixels starting now. Hopefully that's cleared up all the pixels for you guys.
close the curtains on the sleeper because we got curtains in the window that closes. So we don't have to close the curtains on the sleeper. You know, nobody can, nobody can see in. But we have to close them now or it won't, they'll be burning up. It's, it's hot, especially in Texas when it's still like 90 degrees at midnight.
couldn't even tell there was anthills out there because they looked different than they do in Tennessee. It was a pile of white dirt that had fire ants in it and they bit the hell out of my foot.
there's something you know, that's pretty about all the states. Uh, it just depends on what you like. As far as scenicness goes, this really depends on what you like. But there's something about, you know, as far as all the states, in my opinion, that's pretty, that looks good. We uh, done a field trip. Still what was it still last still week? Stuck up. I think it was last week at the USS Alabama. Yeah. If you go into our playlist, you can you can see the different playlists that we've got. One of them is labeled field trips. Probably feel that rough. You can find that video in there. States go. I've not been to Alaska or Hawaii. Those are the only two U.S. states that I haven't been to. I would love to go someday, but <laughs> not today. I 
would I would drive about 800 miles per day before the before the ELDs was installed. these in the truck I really am because there's no more of those days but I don't have to do that anymore or I don't feel like I have to do it I never had to do it to begin with but um, I don't feel like I need to I don't, and I still make just as much money now as I did then Depends on what you're hauling, if they stack it all the way up to the roof or not. That load of cabbage that we just uh, dropped off, that was double stacked up to the roof. Just depends on what you're hauling. If, if whatever it is is light enough, then it can be stacked from the floor to the roof, from the nose to the tail. If it's light enough product, whatever, whatever it is. Um, no, I've never... Well... I'm not gonna say never. When I worked with Covenant, I had to pay lumpers out of my own pocket and then send the receipt in and get reimbursed. It's, I've never actually had to pay for lumpers, but back when I was working with Covenant, I did have to pay for them and then get reimbursed. Kind of like scale tickets are now. I pay for the scale tickets, but I always get reimbursed. Chicken broccoli alfredo. Thank you. Yeah.
Breaker one now for a radio check. Radio check. get her dangers in before we drop her out. Massacre House. Copy the radio. <laughs> music at? Everybody. 
Yeah, like looking down a cannon, no doubt about that. Station in two miles. It is a drive-wise sign, so opened or closed, bypass or no. about going out. I didn't I didn't take him out back there when we stopped at the gloves.
you, I'm not going in. Gentlemen, all aboard. Uh -huh. Let's put some fire around these tires. How about it? No, I haven't. Okay, I don't want to step on me. Walk your nasty nose on me. Doggy. You feel better? He's like, do you feel better? Appreciate stopping in and hanging out with us today, and we'll catch you next time around. <laughs> you need to stop. Quit. Crazy. You little monkey.
reminder, ladies and gentlemen, if you ain't got that thumbs up button yet, smash it, smash it, punch it, kick it, lick it. We do not care how you do it. Stop smurfing on it. Don't be a part of the salty crew. Give me 45 seconds worth of buffering to clear up these pixels starting now. Hopefully that cleared them all up for you guys. Welcome to Louisiana. We let Tasha do the driving now. I'm in the driver's seat, y'all. Express. That's a 
drive to the daiquiri store. Sitting at 660 miles away right now. Reroute 663. So it adds three miles going this way. All that it adds. Sure did. We uh, dumped it off on another driver and grabbed uh, their load of onions, and now we headed back to Georgia. Three miles is worth a smooth ride. A smoother ride. And it's still bumpy coming this way, but it's just not as bumpy. Not as bad. I hate when you let people merge out and then they just refuse to move out from beside you.
Why do I need to change lanes for? picture right quick. She got a picture of it, we'll put it up in the Facebook group. Appreciate you stopping in and hanging out. We'll look at you next time around.
Are we buffering? to uh, Monroe, Georgia. Give me like an instant headache. Pretty dang 
warm here according to the truck we got 90 degrees
yeah, she's over there reading her book. Listening to music.
lot of people that I, I guess a lot of people that I, well, I don't know about a lot of people that I know, but I know Tasha and Mom and Donnie got it. I think there was a couple, a few more in my family that did get it. Be good. Amber's over here in the driver's seat taking the wheel.
made it to his destination. He's still sitting somewhere.
welcome to Nippin, Louisiana, according to the GTA. Want a taco? Uh, you don't have to throw it away if you don't eat it. Because I ripped it apart. Quite a few, quite a few tourists. They're trying to, or they've been working on turning it into a little tourist town for quite a few years now. And they they come from the train because everybody wants to ride the train from Blue Ridge, or all the people that the train from Blue Ridge. It's not really special enough to even be considered. It hit my can. Hopefully that's... Okay. That might be broke. It videos hadn't been doing mid, mid row commercials, have they? For the past couple of days? I don't think so. At least not the past day. Okay. The last two days it's not, not it's not been giving me the option to put up the mid row commercials. It took them away from me. Yeah. YouTube did. I want to read. Okay, then. <laughs> I don't know 
know why they would, but they did. He's done better. I think he just ripped his toenail yesterday. Got it caught like in the cover or the laundry bag or something. Commercial on TV, ten foot. Yeah, they took they took my option for some reason or other. They took my option to do a mid row commercial. That's why we hadn't been having any. I don't know why they done that. Archie Salvage, how you doing? Welcome to the Ride Along Gang. Everybody give Archie a nice warm Ride Along Gang welcome. Pictures taken of them longhorns. Lots of pictures.
we're not going to make it that far, but that's where we're headed to. According to the GPS, we are in Arcadia, Louisiana right now.
to get me some washer fluid tonight. It's matter in the morning.
something real sad.
it would be pretty easy for people to understand, but some people don't understand it.
<laughs> Has a short short in it between the stairwell and the seat. <laughs> We're headed to uh, Monroe, Georgia. to either our pickups or our deliveries. Put it to him, man. Ah, he's he can make it, no problem. Somebody's got a mud flap dangling. Missing the mud flap and the other one's dangling. Sir, you're not legal. Still got time to drive.
Come on. Get up here. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. I got you. Thank you. We finally toppled over the 16K mark, finally. Let him pet him, 
we met up with uh, Bobby and I think his wife's name, I think it was Margaret or Mar Margie, I think. I'm, but she reached out and paid him and, and he, he acted like he knew her forever. He didn't, didn't offer to bark at her, growl at her, bite or anything, which was surprising because he's not normally like that. Normally, he's at least, you know, kind of skittish with people. And like, dang, that, that's different right there. The Winter Haven Run. <laughs> yeah, he's he's been like this his entire life. Even when he was a little bitty, I was he's still little, but even when he was real young, you know, under six months old, he was still like that with people. Back from farming, welcome back. He's the absolute. Well, he's. Out of all the dogs I've had, and I've had a bunch of dogs throughout my life, he's he's like in the top three, mean, meanest top three. I had a, a chow that that was it was pretty bad, and then I had a um, I don't know it was a mix. She was some kind of a mixed breed. I don't, she looked like a German Shepherd, but she wasn't. If she was German Shepherd, she wasn't full German Shepherd. She was, she was real mean. But he's, he's top three though. We raised Haber from a pup. He, we got him when he was just about maybe three to four months old. And we've had him around people, you know. It's not like, you know, we've kept him away from people, but he just, he's always been like that. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Limits 
dropped down to 60 miles an hour, so we are going to back her down. I don't need no speeding tickets. What's up, buddy? We ain't got much farther. And how cold does it get? Unfortunately, in the winter time for me, they moved me up to the northwest, so I get to see all them frigid, frigid, frigid cold days. In the summertime, they move us to the southeast, which means I get to see the smoldering, smoldering hot days. <laughs> well, I've tried to ease back on my speeding a little bit, you know. Down to freezing. 10 for one man. Yeah, I've tried to cut back on my speeding now. Back when me and Tasha first got together, my foot was to the floor all the time. It didn't matter where I was at. I got the last speeding ticket that I got was 80 and a four in a 45. <laughs> That's the last speeding ticket that I've got. Now I've got a couple of speed warnings since then, but that's the last speeding ticket that I got, which has been uh, sit around at six years ago, I think. Six-ish, maybe seven years ago. 80 in a 45. <laughs> That dude clocked me from way back. I didn't have no chance for slowing down. too bad on, on, the, on the expensive part. I mean, as far as just the ticket itself, it wasn't too awful bad. I think maybe, I think it was like 240 bucks. I just got a parking ticket right before that. That was 280 bucks for a parking ticket. So, I mean, really, it wasn't too awful bad as far as the actual ticket goes. I mean, it did cost me a lot more than that, but I don't want to go into any kind of details with that. <laughs> Bless her, she's cold. I know it's fine, it's down on. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Devil got one doing 45 and an 80. <laughs> you got a ticket for what? It was just making fun. Oh. Doing 45 and an 80. Bobby's done that. Doing 80 to 45. <laughs> that's what he was that's what he was making fun of because yeah. I was just talking about that ticket. Yeah. What are you doing? Get with it, mama. I hear that's what you talk about with a I know. So you're, I you're lost in space. Yep. There's a movie playing in my head when I read. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine the people and what they're wearing and I'm usually listening to music while I'm doing it though. I get distracted too easy. Uh -huh. Shut the hell up. Good lord. Shut up. I'm kidding. I love you. He's like, alright, mama loves me. I love you, puppy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come gets on her reading kick, she'll read three or four or five different books a day. She likes those rock romance novels. I don't see how people make it their whole lifetime without getting speeding tickets. I just... I, it, <laughs> it baffles me how that's possible. And especially when people's just lucky and don't get them, that baffles me even more. they started doing points on the CDLs in Tennessee, man, I would get a speeding ticket about every three months. Then they started putting points on Tennessee CDLs and I started slacking off a little bit. I slacked it down to maybe once every six months. And then I started getting tickets for other stuff on top of speeding tickets. So I tried to slack it down to once a year and now, like I said, I've got my last one was about six years ago, which was the 80 and the 45. I try to try to keep it down there where it needs to be, somewhere pretty close. That's the only time they, you catch me speeding now, really, is through the dang construction zones, which is worse than just speeding through town.
disregard the traffic control, speeding, seatbelts, uh, following too close. Yeah, if you look at my driving record all the way back from when I first, you know, 16 or 18, well, 18, I don't think I got any tickets until I turned 18. But if you look back at my driving record to 18, mine's pretty, it's pretty jagged.
up and down. One truck stop. Uh, it has a little diner in it. I'm gonna stop at the right little pile and get your ass.
do this, ladies and gentlemen. I know we got two sleepers in here. Wake up! <laughs> to toot my own horn. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe we are the best uh, channel out there on YouTube as far as live streams go. Maybe not uploads, but... Huh? Is it oh, I thought you said you're conceited. <laughs> <laughs> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop here, and grab her some ice up. And some chicken nuggets. And she wants some chicken nuggets. And we're gonna cruise on down about 20 more miles, maybe 30. About 20 more miles, I think. And pull off with a knife. Clean his windshield. Clean the windshield off. I know it won't do much, but or it won't last very long. Welcome to Rayville. Welcome to Rayville. Man, their lights are bright. Gotta love these roundabouts. All up on the curb. How right, you bingo over there? Are you been going to shopping center? Mm -hmm.
going, man. Where is he going? Maybe park? I'm gonna go ahead and let him park though. Phil, how you doing? Welcome to the Ride Along Game. We're getting a bunch of new people in here tonight. Bunches and bunches. Look at that. See, I patiently waited. Now we can pull up right here at the very front pump. I actually might need to go ahead and just get some fuel. You want to go get your nuggies? Yeah, you have to go get my ice though. I don't know, do we need fuel? We don't really need fuel. Let's get one together. To the window, to the wall. Watch out. Hand me that trash right there on the floor.
We got a circus trailer over there on the right hand side, y'all. Turkey! In Colorado, riding the Amtrak from California, but no tornadoes in Meridian. I was I was wondering yesterday if you'd made it back to the house and then I seen that post. I think I'm wanting my nuggets now since they're fresh. Be home Thursday evening, 10 4. Safest of travels for you, sir. Come in. Okay. Do you want yours? No. I didn't put no sauce in here for you. No sauce?
Pirate of the world. Yeah, Pirate of the world. All aboard! Mm -hmm. This road, dog. It looks like a ride. Or part of a ride. Yeah, it's, it's a ride. I don't know what kind of ride, but it's a ride. Our windows are clean for a few minutes. There's a seat. I think. I don't know. Look at the kitty cat. Hi, right, kitty. I'm running over. You want to? That was that was one of one of the trucking jobs that I always wanted to do was a uh, <laughs> carny show. You like Joe Pierre Tate? <laughs> <laughs> Joe Pierre Tate. I'm trying to church it up. I always thought it would be cool to be to haul that stuff around, but then then I got to realize or I found out that uh, the truck drivers is the ones that has to put the stuff together. <laughs> I was like, man, I don't know about all that. They got all kinds of parking spots. Are those reserved? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they are. That's all right, because uh, I want to do the other 20 to 30 miles before we actually stop. That looks funky. Why do you go out here? <laughs> Spent 15 years doing it. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, I could have done it back in the day, but I'm just not that interested in putting up the rides and taking them back down and see that was that was the thing about driving NASCAR trucks I always that was another one that I wanted to do and then I found out that uh, the truck drivers are the ones that does the shopping and the cooking and all that Mind you, I don't mind cooking. Never have. You don't like to shop. <laughs> uh huh. You don't like to shop. You'll do it. Yeah, I don't. I don't like to shop for the stuff. If I got a list, I don't mind it as much. Um, but I don't like cooking for a lot of people. I don't mind cooking for one or two or three four people, but I don't like cooking for 10 or 12. Save the rest of my nuggets to eat with you. I'm gonna get that bacon. Looks good. Let me have it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Let me have it. Yeah, I don't like, I just, yeah, I don't like being a gopher. I don't like that. Here's a brand new car, rabbit. You can have it. <laughs> you can have it. I don't know why. Pops in my head. And I'm being everywhere with the electric Step chair. Forward. Jeez. And I'm being everywhere but the electric chair. Doesn't see everything but the wind oh. blow, man. You ain't gonna show me nothing. Uh. Excuse me. <laughs> that real country with that me. Look at that. They have a gondola. I mean, that's not a gondola. Gondola is a big dang boat. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Spit. What's it called? I don't know. A gazebo. Gazebo. We're in a Rayville. I remember when we had a Peterbilt, I'd always, when I'd get in it, let's get in the house, house the Peterbilt, I would always sit up <laughs> getting into the truck and out of it. Yeah. <laughs> waffle, waffle. My hands are full, so that's why I'm not blinking the lights for them. Yeah, I would imagine driving the carnival rides would be pretty good pay. Just like doing the NASCARs. Uh, the NASCAR trucks, that's real good pay. Or it used to be. I don't know how it is now, but 
used to be. Back in the day when I first started driving truck, the two best the two best trucking jobs you could get, or two of the best so-called trucking jobs you could get, was uh, the WWE trucks driving down, or or race trucks. Was supposedly the two best trucking jobs on the market. I don't know how they are now. But, supposedly, those was the two best trucking jobs back then. Yeah, and it does. It depends on who you work for, on the, especially on the carny like that. on the fly can be rough. Um, when we when we finish here in the, in the next 10 15 miles well it, it'll just be about like 300 miles for the day and then tomorrow we'll have uh, about 520 to run thank you ma'am That'll leave us with about 515 to 20 to run. Barry, how you doing today? Turn on this one We're just we're just going up to the 157. We're at the 141 now. Those those two truck stops should be a little less packed, maybe. Look at this! This is my baby. <laughs> One hundred and one. Massage. And Brisland, West Texas. Dang it. I know. You're a little goblin. You're my little goblin. Now you're right up there around what Abilene? Growling. You growling? You gonna growl? <laughs> Good lord, I didn't do nothing. Growling. Little meanie. Growl. Let's see them teeth. You got spaces between your teeth, did you know that? Give kisses. Give kisses, my baby. <laughs> Odessa, that's right, Odessa. I was watching I was watching something on YouTube today and it was around Abilene. That might, that might be what was making me think of it. <laughs> yeah, these guys these guys do real good. This is this has been one of the best companies, if not the best company that I've worked for. They they get you home or they always do me. They get me home anytime I ask. Um Now, now when Tasha's not with me, they will they will, you know, if I put in for like say the 29th they will hit me up and be like, "Can you stay out for one more week?" They will when she's, but when she's with me, they don't do that. <laughs> and, and I don't know what the difference is. They don't. I think they know I go to the doctor. I have the monthly doctor's visits every Yeah. I think he might have told one of them. Well, that's that's what I told them. I told them that she had a doctor's appointment. 
which you do, but. But they do real good. They're, I mean, they're real good. They're, they don't bother you. Um, when I do ask to go home, they do real good at getting me home anytime I ask. Pay is pretty decent. You know, they keep, they keep me running. They don't leave me sitting around. For one or two days, Austin, that's it, just one or two days. Excuse me. Got me an olive extra shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm late to the game. Why they all had what? Flip phones. Because it came out in 2006. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. It's an older show. That's why in Charm they didn't really use cell phones yeah. because it was it was pre-2000. Yeah. And they had those ones that you had to pull the antenna out when they yeah. started using them. Yeah. Yeah, just two days off because of the onion season. They'd rather me not even take the two days, but they know I have to. Which I wouldn't mind staying out all summer. I wouldn't mind it at all. Because it'd just be that much more money that I'd make, but... Get up there. Smooshed his little man part. Oh. <laughs> Bless his heart. I'm sorry, bud. I was trying to help you, is all I was doing. He's tender, there ain't no doubt about it. I didn't, I didn't do it, I'm sitting up here. <laughs> Get up here. Come on. Now! You gotta lay down. <laughs> They'll hide. Dale High, Louisiana, according to the GPS and Tasha, that's where we're at. It is eighty degrees. Uh. Eighty degrees, it ain't none too cool. <laughs> you okay? Like 88. Sir, if you can't see after dark, park that car and go to sleep. Storms possible overnight.
delicious. Are you okay? Can y'all still hear him growling? I hear him sure not growling since you did that. <laughs> still growling. Yeah, we're... Sorry, can't answer. somewhere down the road. Man, it's 
freaking road's rough through here. Ray Little Dale High. Ladies and gentlemen, we're down to 513 miles left on the trip. We can do that tomorrow. We can do that easily tomorrow. Now we won't be able to start up till about nine o'clock tomorrow. Good lord, look at this. <laughs> that's not well, how else am I supposed to go? Park on there. That's kind of park on there, isn't it? like the way that looks. In the front. Yeah, looks good in the front. It don't look open, though. It ain't open. How are we going to get our nostrils in the morning and not have one? It'll be open in the morning. <laughs> Hopefully they've got nitros too. Because I don't have a nitro. I have to pick a if they don't. I hope not. Sorry. Shady Acres is the place to be. And this is, this is the reason why I decided to come on down here instead of parking there. Because... Lots of parking? Yeah, I mean... They was parking back there, but it was paid parking. And why pay for parking if you don't have to? I mean, if you got to, it's one thing, but if you don't have to, it's completely different. <laughs> he said, Bobby, <laughs> he said, I just now got in here. He said, the broker's calling me, worrying the F out of me. <laughs> he said, Who, who'd, you, who'd you trade loads with? Yes. Yeah. I think third shift guy, yeah. I mean, the night shift guy, whatever he is. Yeah, the night shift guy. <laughs> and I told him who it was. And what the truck member was, and he's like, okay, he said, let me call them right quick. Well, I mean, you know, I don't know what to tell them, because I don't know if the load got delivered or not. I'm not, yeah. I'm not there with it no more. I can't rightly say that the load's been delivered, and she might still be sitting there asleep. She might not even be on the door yet. <laughs> she might not be on the door yet. They might have still not called her. Yeah. I have no idea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done for tonight. We got 513 miles to go tomorrow. Um, now we'll start up probably about 9 a.m. ish, something like that. 
but I do appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Thank you for over 500 thumbs up. Y'all are awesome. And we will see everybody back tomorrow. That's coming back tomorrow. How about it? Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful night. Good night. Good night, everybody. What are you squawking about still, dog?